Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show how users can change their own password or how users can reset the password using Storefront console. So first of all, I will try to log in to show. So, okay, let me type the password again, username and password again. Okay, I have entered my username and password and I'm trying to log in. Okay, if you see on the top right hand side, when you click the drop down here, arrow here, I see activate, install Citrix receiver, about and log off. I see four options here. I don't see an option to change the password or reset the password right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the storefront management console. On the right hand side under virtual store you see manage authentication methods click on it once you click on it you see an option called username and password and you see settings here click the arrow and you see an option called manage password options click on it once you click on it you see this option called allow users to change passwords it is unchecked at the moment if you check it what happens is it gives an option for the users next time to change the password. So it says only when they expire or at any time. So if you keep this box checked, uh, it helps user to change the password only when the password expires. But if you select at any time, what it does is, let's say for example, the password is going to expire in the next 10 days. But user suddenly felt like, okay, I should change the password now. So user can change the password at any time. It need not be when the password gets expired. Users can do it even before the password gets expired. So I'm going to select at any time and it gives three options. Do not remind, use reminder settings from Active Directory group policy. Use customized reminder settings. So I'm going to select use reminder settings from Active Directory group policy and I'm going to select at any time and by default, I've selected allow users to change passwords and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK once again. OK, so once the settings get saved, users when they try to log into the storefront server next time, it should give an option to change the password. OK, let me refresh the screen once okay i'm refreshing the screen okay it's getting refreshed Okay, it is asking me to log in now. Let me log in. Okay, I'm hitting login. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the arrow here and I, I should see a new option this time. Okay, now I see activate, install Citrix receiver and I also see a new option called change password here. So when I click on change password, it is asking the old password and it is asking the new password. Now what users can do is they can, en they can enter the old password and they can also enter the new password and they can confirm the new password and click OK. So the, the, the major advantage of enabling this feature is uh, users need not contact the service desk or help desk again and again to reset the password. When they have this feature enabled, they can simply change the password. When the password is expired, they need not contact the help desk or service desk. They can simply change it by themselves. 
on the storefront console. So it reduces a lot of burden for the service desk people or the IT help desk people if we enable this particular feature. Okay. I hope you find this uh, information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.